Welcome to. Ah! Uh, 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 what? You? Not you? Uh, yeah. You? No. Uh, hello. Wait to late for the game. Hey, welcome to wait for the game. <laughs> Where you waited to see us in hell again? <laughs> and we're here. We made it to hell. We are in hell. This is straight up motherfucking hell. And check it out. I got all my abilities and stuff too now. So like that includes like sweet magics and junk businesses. All right. So we're not gonna have to like screw around. Getting a bunch of shiz. No, but I am gonna have to screw around and equip my relics because. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Menus. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Definitely want that one. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else, what else are we gonna put in here? Increased damage of all cross attacks and abilities. Uh, I wish there was a thing so you could equip four out of these yes. myriad number of things. I wish that there were there are times where games do that. I wish that they had a new game plus mode or something where you could just equip it all. Yeah. And just do everything. Yeah, that would that be would cool. be fun. Like I wish in Dark Souls, like after you beat it, like you could play a version where you could wear like all the rings and like fucking have like nothing but like amazing uh what's it called? Where you can carry all the armor so you can just travel around in like the heaviest fucking armor and still roll real fast and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. That'd yeah. be sweet. Like just like let me beat it the regular way, but then just let me have fucking fun. Let me just like tear through people. Be great. Although I guess in Dark Souls that would be a teensy bit unfair if you did the PvP, but just don't let just don't let people do that for the PvP. I don't know, whatever. No, I I, I totally agree with all the things that were said by you just then. What the hell? What? Uh, ah, this is the one I wanted. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. That I, it took me a minute to find this shit. That's nah, all good. All right. So if you look inside those vines and stuff, you can see people like just like. Like, I think that's why I like this game so much. Just because, like, I feel like this is a good representation of what hell might be. Yeah, you know? just like, oh, this is, like, I definitely feel like this is hell. Yeah. And it gets worse and creepier the further in you go, which yeah. you would only imagine. Like, fucking bodies just pouring out of that demon face mountain. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get the fuck up there, but it's not <laughs> letting me. Get up there! What the fuck?! <laughs> Dude, it's not that hard. Okay, there we go. Yeah! What do you think of that view? I like it. What'd you do? Oh, I was just talking about the mouths. No, I mean, what just happened? Oh, shit. See, this is what's weird, is that my girlfriend just... My girlfriend and I just got all the relics last night. Finished it, and... Uh, since we haven't beaten the game with that, we I don't have access to all of them. <clears throat> So that's kind of a bummer, man. Oh yeah, you said you guys were gonna beat this totally and completely tonight. Yeah, as soon as. Are you gonna play this all day with me and then play it some more? Well, really, all we have to do is just beat Satan, and we're on Hellish, which is the third difficulty level, and then we need to play through one time and collect all thirty of the silver pieces, and then we're gonna do that playthrough on Inferno, which is the hardest mode. That's something I, I kind of respect about you and your gaming ways. Like, you don't play a whole shit ton of games, but when you get into a game, like, you fucking go for it. Like, 100% everything, play through it three or four times. Like, how many times have you beaten Resident Evil 4? Uh, probably a good eight. Eight times. Maybe more, because I, I had to buy it twice. <laughs> I bought it for my first PlayStation 2, that yeah. got stolen away, and then uh, I bought yeah. it again. And then I also downloaded it on Xbox 360 and played through it a couple times. So it's probably a good 8 to 10 times. Yeah. So that's a lot. I've played it through twice. Once when it came out, and then later when we... Oh, shit. We need to continue that. Yeah, Resident Evil Weekend kind of... Slipped through the cracks. A Everything lot. slipped through the cracks. Our whole show did. It's it's fine. It's whatever. Yeah, not too big a the deal. The people who like us still like us, and I'm I'm totally happy and thankful that we still have some people that like our show. And it's like, it's, what is happening here? Okay. Whoa. Okay, so basically, this is the first part of hell. This is where they're like, uh, Virgil, I think he explained it, but we weren't really paying attention. Oh, should we have been listening to that guy? Yeah, this is just the first, the short, the first area of hell, the first layer, of course, because, you know. Yeah, you gotta go through all your circles of hell. Right. This is just, this is like the reception area where people sign in and get their name tags and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. But you're not supposed to be here, so they keep calling security on you. Whoa! 
<laughs> Fucking wrecked them. See that? What, is, what are you doing there? That's magic. Oh, um, okay, cool. Yeah, those are magic fountains. Uh, like I said, like I have all the abilities and all the, the level up shit taken care of, so... Anytime I kill an enemy with a scythe, it gives me like... It's either health or magic, and then vice versa with cross attacks. You son of a bitch. Oh, and so there's a thing where you can like either absolve people or damn yes. them. There's certain enemies, like uh, and pretty a lot of the enemies really, you can like punish or absolve them. Uh huh. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's also, you know, like uh, you'll find Judas Iscariot down here. Um, there's a bunch of people that you find that are just kind of withered up. And there's our first demon that oh, we shit. encounter. Is that Baffle Mat or whatever? Baham Bahamut? Looks like him. Is this like a boss or just like a just a guy? No, he's just a guy. Oh, okay. You encounter these guys all over the place. He's just big tank man A. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They get bigger and stronger, of course, throughout the game. But there's there's all sorts of other different kind of enemies that are just fucking creepy as dick, dude. See, I'm gonna absolve him. Thank you. <laughs> I like going to heaven. And I don't like this guy, so I'm gonna punish him. <laughs> One tiny little dude. He's like, oh, you could you could totally absolve me. Like I totally wouldn't mind. I, like I just got here. I don't know. <laughs> I have a little heart. I have heart. Breakable. Glistening objects are breakable. Okay. Ah, oh, come on with that. that the worst designed elevator ever. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of that going on in hell. <laughs> it is hell. So. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> There's different costumes that you can get for him. There's one called Disco Inferno, and he's like <laughs> literally wearing like dressed up like Disco Stew. Yeah, pretty much. That's awesome. But this is like one of the rare games that one of the costumes is actually like less cool than the other than the original. You know? Yeah. Well, I, that's all just subjective. Yeah, this is the reception area. See, so this is gonna be you. You don't fear the Lord? This is where you're gonna go, everybody! There's a river of boiling blood at one point. Awesome. It, it's fucking crazy. Whoa, so did that guy just say that basically people that aren't quite good but aren't really super bad just kind of come here and chill in the top layer? Yeah. That's harsh. Yeah. They're like, we don't send them down to the really bad hell because then, like, the bullies will pick on them, but, you know, whatever. This is a health well, of course. <laughs> it's where the good atheists go. Yeah. Like, they were decent people, but they were atheists, so we still got to send them to hell. Did you ever watch that? Uh, there's a great, great old. Uh, it's uh, Rowan Atkinson, you know, Mr. Bean. Yeah, yeah. The he had an HBO special, and one of his skits was he was like the devil, and he was greeting all the new, <laughs> new people coming to hell, and he's like grouping them, like putting them all in groups, and he's like atheists. Where are the atheists? Yes, you're right over there. Bet you feel a right bunch of nitwits, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah, Rowan Atkins when he's not being Mr. Bean is awesome. Oh God, he's hysterical. I mean, I love him as Mr. Bean, but... Okay, this one I was telling you. This is a soul right here that you come across, and you can read the story. So who do we have? We got Pontius Pilate. Oh, okay. His cowardice contributed to the suffering of one for the sins of many and now he bears the weight of all in limbo so I can either punish him or absolve him I'm just gonna do absolve 
those first times so that you can kind of see. Uh-huh. I know that the sins kind of come down looking like Dragon Balls. Okay, cool. But uh, each one of these is a sin that you capture, and uh, it's kind of a fun little mini game that you get to do. And you get, when you play through the first time and you're trying to collect souls to like level up your character, this is a good good thing to do, but I'm going to punish everybody from here on out after I show everybody this shit. All right. Any particular reason why? Yeah, because it's faster. This, oh. this takes a while, so. Yeah, but you had that auto-absolve thing. Yeah, I can auto-absolve, but. Yeah, but fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> They're in hell for a reason. Who am I to fucking... Yeah, know? I mean, Pontius Pilate, yeah, come on. I know. I don't know why I'm absolving him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. Well, that's what Jesus would want. And well, some of, the, some of the people down here, when you read their little stories, you're like, why are you even here, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I think that they give you, like, good and bad people down there that you can, you know, choose whether or not you want to, like, absolve or punish. Oh, more storyline. Ooh. We saw this already. These fine ass titties will be waiting for you when you get home. Best not be fucking any desert hoes, though. <laughs> desert hoes. There's Satan. <laughs> Mr. Satan gonna steal your girlfriend. He does too. He's kind of a dick about it. He like rubs on her titties in front of me, and I don't like that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Satan, I'm kind of a chug. All right, we're getting into some exciting shit now. Satan doesn't look uh like I would have expected him to. Uh, he does later. Yeah. Whenever you fight him. He gets all boss monster. Yeah. That's cool. Good. I don't want to just be fighting a... Smoke monster. Smoke, smoke man, yeah. The, the thing Some... that occurred on Lost. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Hurley. I'm not Hurley. Send John Locke. Dante. Give me some shit to fight. Dang, this is... Uh... These guys are getting big. I don't really. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. What's up, dude? Nothing. I don't know. I was trying to think of something to say, and just all words left my head. I was just like, these guys are big. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are so big. <laughs> this is my favorite one. Oh! Yeah. It's fun when that shit happens. I'm gonna chop off your head because I am in hell. <laughs> what? I Do it. Cut, what? Yeah. I... Cut his head off, you punk. You just got played out like a bitch. Oh, I got played out like a bitch again, man. That sucks. Jeez. All right, now I'm gonna. Chop there you off go. His, chop his head off. I'm gonna chop his head chop off. Chop his damn head off. I'm gonna chop his damn head off. Yeah, yeah I got there his head he off. Goes. I got his. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. You best better watch what you say, or else you may come off sounding like an idiot. All right. All right. Now this. What's cool about this game too is like, there's no camera view. It kind of sucks, but it's it's okay. Like I can live with it. I played a lot of Resident Evil back in the day. Right. Uh, but the the views that they do are pretty cool. Yeah, like they do that on purpose so that they can give you the like what the director wants you to focus on. Yeah, like that's cool looking, big old scary head. <laughs> kind of busy. Oh no. Dude, I can't believe you just told that thing to take him to her. I'd be like, I don't know if you noticed this about me, but I'm a head attached to a large structure. I'm not taking you anywhere. I'm not going anywhere, bud. Then he's like, hey, you know, while you're down there, 
got this itch. Yeah. For like 5,000 years I've had it. It's just, yeah, it's right there. Just, <coughs> just take care of that for me. And get, I, I may stick give, that scythe up in there. I may give you directions get on it. where to go next. Those are relics, by the way. The relics that you're supposed to find, they come in the form of like gargoyles. Gar All right. Gargoyles. Okay. I'm for it. I'm all about it. They're gargoyles. Okay, now I gotta heal, so I'm gonna do this. Alright, here comes the puzzly aspect of things. Yes, I know about the fucking sliders. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, you can grab these boxes. It reminds me of like a Zelda esque kind of. Like every fucking yeah. video game ever. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, this video game has <laughs> yeah. sliding box puzzles. They're, uh, you know, kind of the leaders in innovation right now. Yeah, like, I mean, I've never seen anything like that in a video game before. No, definitely not since Super Nintendo. <laughs> well, can you do this with all your other boxes? Yeah, there's some games that definitely you can just kick that fucking shit. All right, well, here's what's funny is I never noticed that before besides the last playthrough that I did with my girlfriend a couple days ago. Uh-huh. Uh, so there's, like, a little secret that some people may not know about. Well, there you go, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to help you find, like, the hardest relics. There you go. If you play this game and you're like, oh, I don't know where to find this. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this isn't just a terrible Let's Play. It's also a walkthrough and guide. Yeah, the games that I know, I know, everybody. <laughs> The games I don't, I don't. It's just how life works. Except that you straight up just said that you only had found that this last time you played it. What I know now. Well, I guess that's, you're not wrong. Furthers my increased knowledge of this game. Uh-oh, what do we got going on here? Hmm. Ah, more, pl oh shit. There's that fucker again. He's like, you're absolved, yes, now. Watch everybody turn into Beatrice. Oh! Okay, so the devil was in the holy water that he sprinkled on everybody? No, I don't think that was what was happening. Oh. I that, think that the guy was just, you know, what making... I interpreted. I think he was just making false claims, the, the Herod. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Orpheus! Hey! <laughs> The Greek poet and musician who failed to deliver his beloved from the underworld, denounced for attempting to impede the fulfillment of God's will. I mean, see, like, I don't understand why he's down here. I'll absolve you. Get the fuck out of here. Get your ass up there. Later, bro. Enjoy yourself up in that heaven. While I continue forth in the hell. <laughs> I mean, seriously, why can't I just absolve myself and just be done with it? Yeah. Well, because you gotta get your girlfriend. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Duh. There's yeah. no more reason you're doing this shit. That's a good point, man. Way to keep your eye on the prize, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, not keeping our eye on the time, though. Hey, we'll be right back. Oh, goodbye. Oh, the next episode's going to start out great with gameplay, by the way, everybody. It's going to start out escapode.